All right, so this video introduces our projectile launcher. It's a project that you can build, and we take you through step-by-step -step how to do that in the next two videos. But first, I wanted to show you some of the things it can do. So we're adjusting it to 60 degrees, bending, taking it back to position four and launching the ping pong ball straight away into the trash can. Uh, this one kind of fires off to the side, but we'll uh, get it on the next go round. And so the launcher allows you to make the calculations for projectile motion come alive. You can get a sense for how to make the, uh, the projectile launch uh, more accurate, and you can get a sense for how different materials launch differently in, in the launcher. You can see these hacky sacks don't do so well um, compared to the ping pong balls. And the paper also was pretty inaccurate. So it opens up the opportunity for a lot of conversations around those types of things. You can look here, uh, once we've got the uh, projectile uh, angles and, and uh, the nature of the projectile figured out, we were able to knock the cans down one right after another with a, with a high degree of accuracy. And so we're going to take out that Coke can right there. So um, Sal's done a great job putting together a number of projectile motion videos online. And you can take a look at how to do the calculations. Uh, I'll have the links down below this video. And we, we went ahead and took this uh, launcher out to the pool to see what we could do there to see if we could get the uh, ping pong balls and the life preserver. But if you like this launcher, uh, watch the next two videos and we'll show you how to make it.